Hello everyone, this time we will discuss further knowledge about dove. Colomidae is a bird family consisting of doves and pigeons. It is the only family in the order Columbiforms. These are stout-bodied birds with short necks and short slender bills that in some species feature fleshy series. They primarily feed on seeds, fruits, and plants. The family occurs worldwide, but the greatest variety is in the Indomalayan and Australasian realms, the family contains 344 species divided into 50 genera. Thirteen of the species are extinct, in English, the smaller species tend to be called doves, and the larger ones pigeons. However, the distinction is not consistent, and does not exist in most other languages. Historically, the common names for these birds involve a great deal of variation among the terms. The bird most commonly referred to as just pigeon is the domestic pigeon, which is common in many cities as the feral pigeon. Doves and pigeons build relatively flimsy nests, often using sticks and other debris, which may be placed on branches of trees, on ledges, or on the ground, depending on species. They lay one or, usually, two white eggs at a time, and both parents care for the young, which leave the nest after 25 to 32 days. Unfledged baby doves and pigeons are called squabs and are generally able to fly by five weeks of age. These fledglings, with their immature squeaking voices, are called squeakers once they are weaned or weaning. Unlike most birds, both sexes of doves and pigeons produce crop milk to feed to their young, secreted by a sloughing of fluid-filled cells from the lining of the crop. Etymology, pigeon is a French word that derives from the Latin pipio, for a peeping chick, while dove is an ultimately Germanic word that refers to the bird's diving flight. The English dialectal word culver appears to derive from Latin columba. A group of doves is called a doula, taken from the French word duel, mourning. Origin and evolution, columbiforms is one of the most diverse non-passerine clades of neoavians, and its origins are in the Cretaceous and the result of a rapid diversification at the end of the KPG boundary. Whole genome analyses have found the columbiforms form a sister clade of a group conformed by the sand grouses, pteroclyphorms, and mesites, Mesotornithiforms, size and appearance, pigeons and doves exhibit considerable variation in size, ranging in length from 15 to 75 cm, 5.9 to 29.5 in, and in weight from 0.066 pounds to above 4.4 pounds. The largest species is the crown pigeon of New Guinea, which is nearly turkey-sized, at a weight of 4.4 to 8.8 .8 pounds. The smallest is the common ground dove, Columbina passerina, of the genus Columbina which is the same size as a house sparrow, weighing as little as 0.049 pounds. The dwarf fruit dove, which may measure as little as 13 centimeters, 5.1 in, has a marginally smaller total length than any other species from this family. One of the largest arboreal species, the Marquesan imperial pigeon, currently battles extinction. Anatomy and physiology, overall, the anatomy of colomidae is characterized by short legs, short bills with a fleshy sear, and small heads on large, compact bodies. Like some other birds, the colomidae have no gall bladders. Some medieval naturalists concluded they have no bile, gall, which in the medieval theory of the four humors explained the allegedly sweet disposition of doves. In fact, however, they do have bile, as Aristotle had earlier realized, which is secreted directly into the gut, in a series of experiments in 1975 by Dr. Mark B. Friedman, using doves, their characteristic head bobbing was shown to be due to their natural desire to keep their vision constant. It was shown yet again in a 1978 experiment by Drive. Barry J. Frost, in which pigeons were placed on treadmills, it was observed that they did not bob their heads, as their surroundings were constant. Feathers, colomity have unique body feathers, with the shaft being generally broad, strong, and flattened, tapering to a fine point, abruptly. In general, the aftershaft is absent, however, small ones on some tail and wing feathers may be present. Body feathers have very dense, fluffy bases, are attached loosely into the skin, and drop out easily. Possibly serving as a predator avoidance mechanism, large numbers of feathers fall out in the attacker's mouth if the bird is snatched, facilitating the bird's escape. The plumage of the family is variable. Granivorous species tend to have dull plumage, with a few exceptions, whereas the frugivorous species have brightly colored plumage. The Telinipus, fruit doves, are some of the brightest colored pigeons, with the three endemic species of Fiji and the Indian Ocean Electroenas being the brightest. Pigeons and doves may be sexually monochromatic or dichromatic. In addition to bright colors, pigeons may sport crests or other ornamentation. 
Flight, Colomidi are excellent flyers due to the lift provided by their large wings, which results in low wing loading. They are highly maneuverable in flight and have a low aspect ratio due to the width of their wings, allowing for quick flight launches and ability to escape from predators, but at a high energy cost, distribution, and habitat. Pigeons and doves are distributed everywhere on Earth, except for the driest areas of the Sahara Desert, Antarctica, and its surrounding islands. And the High Arctic. They have colonized most of the world's oceanic islands, reaching eastern Polynesia and the Chatham Islands in the Pacific, Mauritius, the Seychelles and Réunion in the Indian Ocean. And the Azores in the Atlantic Ocean, the family has adapted to most of the habitats available on the planet. These species may be arboreal, terrestrial, or semi-terrestrial. Various species also inhabit savanna, grassland, desert, temperate woodland and forest, mangrove forest, and even the barren sands and gravels of atolls. Some species have large natural ranges. The eared dove ranges across the entirety of South America from Colombia to Tierra del Fuego. The Eurasian collared dove has a massive, if discontinuous, distribution from Britain across Europe, the Middle East, India, Pakistan, and China, and the laughing dove across most of Sub Saharan Africa, as well as India, Pakistan, and the Middle East. Other species have tiny, restricted distributions, this is most common in island endemics. The whistling dove is endemic to the tiny Kadavo island in Fiji, the Caroline ground dove is restricted to two islands, Truk and Ponpe in the Caroline Islands, and the Granada dove is restricted to Granada in the Caribbean. Some continental species also have tiny distributions, for example, the black-banded fruit dove is restricted to a small area of the Arnhem land of Australia, the Somali pigeon is restricted to a tiny area of northern Somalia, and Moreno's ground dove is restricted to the area around Salta and Tucumán in northern Argentina. The largest range of any species is that of the rock dove. This species had a large natural distribution from Britain and Ireland to northern Africa, across Europe, Arabia, Central Asia, India, the Himalayas, and up into China and Mongolia. The range of the species increased dramatically upon domestication, as the species went feral in cities around the world. The species is not the only pigeon to have increased its range due to the actions of man, several other species have become established outside of their natural range after escaping captivity, and other species have increased their natural ranges due to habitat changes caused by human activity. A 2020 study found that the east coast of the US includes two pigeon genetic megacities, in New York and in Boston, and the birds do not mix together. Feeding, seeds, and fruit form the major component of the diets of pigeons and doves. In fact, the family can be divided into the seed-eating or granivorous species, subfamily Colomini, and the fruit and mast-eating or frugivorous species, the other four subfamilies. The granivorous species typically feed on seed found on the ground, whereas the frugivorous species tend to feed in trees. There are morphological adaptations that can be used to distinguish between the two groups, granivores tend to have thick walls in their gizzards, intestines, and esophagi whereas the frugivores tend to have thin walls. In addition, fruit-eating species have short intestines whereas those that eat seeds have longer ones. Frugivers are capable of clinging to branches and even hang upside down to reach fruit, in addition to fruit and seeds, a number of other food items are taken by many species. Some, particularly the ground doves and quail doves, eat a large number of prey items such as insects and worms. One species, the atoll fruit dove, is specialized in taking insect and reptile prey. Snails, moths, and other insects are taken by white-crowned pigeons, orange fruit doves, and ruddy ground doves, urban feral pigeons, descendants of domestic rock doves, Columbia livia, reside in urban environments, disturbing their natural feeding habits. They depend on human activities and interactions to obtain food, causing them to forage for spilled food or food provided by humans. Status and conservation, while many species of pigeons and doves have benefited from human activities and have increased their ranges, many other species have declined in numbers and some have become threatened or even succumbed to extinction. Among the 10 species to have become extinct since 1600, the conventional date for estimating modern extinctions, are two of the most famous extinct species, the dodo and the passenger pigeon, around 59 species of pigeons and doves are threatened with extinction today, about 19% of all species. Most of these are tropical and live on islands. All of the species are threatened by introduced predators, habitat loss, hunting, or a combination of these factors. In some cases, they may be extinct in the wild, as is the Socorro dove of Socorro Island, Mexico, last seen in the wild in 1972, driven to extinction by habitat loss and introduced feral cats.